Victoria dedicated herself to her role as queen and had a genuine concern for the welfare of her subjects. She came into contact with a young Winston Churchill, who she liked, and it was said that the pair would chew gum together. But this chewing gum had a difference. It was laced with cocaine. And this wasn't the only drug she was partial to. So, Rosemary, we have a delight of medical paraphernalia here. Can you talk us through it? Well, in the 19th century, most people smoked opium. And this is a wonderful contraption, which is like a Victorian hooker pipe. <laughs> so you would have your pellet of opium in the top there. You put water in there. Then you lit here. And then... Oh, it would turn into... Beautiful fumes, fumes <laughs> which you would then get your morphine opium hit. And was it rumoured that Victoria, or perhaps her daughter Helena, would have sat there puffing on this amazing opium pipe? No, she didn't like smoking. So she took her opium as a tincture, mm -hmm. more delicate. The tincture, however, the opium was dissolved in 90% alcohol. Oh, gosh. OK, so very potent mixture, then. Very potent mixture. So she wakes, she's got period pain, she's got a headache. First thing in the morning, she has a swig of her, of her laudanum tincture, which gives her not only her hit of opium, but also you know, gives her a hit of alcohol oh, first gosh. thing in the morning. Opium, laudanum, she took chloroform during childbirth, which she said was hugely enjoyable. And she's even supposed to have written an anonymous review for a newspaper for a product called Van Mariani, which was a mixture of cocaine and alcohol. So Queen Victoria, I think by any standards, she loved her drugs. 